Hello everyone, Rendezi here with your weekly update. This time I'm going to be talking about making assets for our tile editor, which uses a rule set similar to Worf's hammer editor. Because of these rules, I only had to create 60 tiles to make up the whole map, but using only 60 tiles in the map looked really, really repetitive and uh, it was very noticeable. So I decided to create variations for the, for the most used tiles, but then having too many variations made it difficult to maintain and decorate. So I went back to Blender and recreated my scene. Here is an example how it looks like with variations. The variations look good, but decorating so many different shapes is not feasible. So I decided on a modular approach and created the most common used shapes for the tile walls and tried to reuse them where it was possible and only created new shapes where it was absolutely necessary. After finding all the different shapes, I one by one sculpted and textured them. To create one wall segment, I use a set of modifiers with a displace modifier that uses the same texture for every piece, helps blend them more seamlessly. It also helps me with the sculpting because I already have the back of the rock. After creating the initial shape, I like to use the scrape brush to sharpen the edges and flatten the surfaces and also to get rid of the artifacts remaining from the remesh. After that's done, I use a custom set of brushes to add more details. I like to do it this way because applying a texture with normal map doesn't look as good and natural than having a high poly model. After using the detail brush, I like to go over the details once again with the scrape brush to create variations, so all the segments look a little bit different even when I'm using the same brush. Once the high poly model is finalized, my workflow is to create a low poly and after UV mapping, I like to import these into Substance Painter and create the texture there. The baking system in Substance uses the details of the high poly mesh to generate textures for the low poly mesh that can be used to create texture sets for the model. They can be used for things like edge highlight or weathering the crevices. And I already have a smart material that does that for the rocks. To see all those in Blender, I had to create a material for each wall segment using the textures substance output. Once I configured all of them, I placed them into the asset library to be able to create my test scene. Finally, we reused the amount of meshes we used from almost 400 to about 100 while improving the look and feel and hiding repetition. And that's it for the week. I'm going to continue working on vegetation and props and maybe make another video when we don't have enough few IVGs to show. Until then, bye bye.